And there was one thing that you mentioned in the book about how our past experiences, um, like kind of like the models uh, you mentioned in the book about like, just as a little girl watching like your aunties, just how they had like their communion, like how they commune with each other. Right. So I'm looking at it from a different lens because my mother was very much a loner. And I remember the messages that she gave me growing up was, you know, just keep your head down, you know, friendship and do the work. Friendship can cause like drugs. Trauma, you know, we don't need friends, yada, yada, yada. But I do think it's important for us to think about, you know, we are not meant to be isolated individual creatures. Like we really thrive in community, in relationship with one another. And so even if you have gotten those messages and it has made you a little standoffish, I do think it's important for you to open yourself up to all of the ways that friendships and intimate relationships with other people can really enhance your life. 